Hello everybody, back on Sendrith, and we just dinged level 11. We are going to gate back to Felwith now. Oh, I don't have the mana for it, but once I do, we're going to gate back to Felwith. We're going to get summon food at least, and maybe buy another spell just to throw away some of this uh, small coin we have, even though we'll be right next to the bank, and we could just convert it to plat anyway. I kind of want to just buy one of the spells I know I'm going to use. <clears throat> and uh, get rid of it that way. Why not? Or, actually, better yet, go and see if we can't buy them split paw gloves that give me a little bit of dex and a little bit of wisdom. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, let's see if we're good to go yet. As you can see, I ran out of food, but I don't, I'm not hungry yet, so it's really a perfect time to be heading back to town. <clears throat> I had the mana, and then guess what happened? Fizzle! All right, I didn't realize Gate was such a big spell. Look at this, 29% mana. There we go. You gotta save quite a bit of a reserve if you wanna have Gate ready. Ho ho, unstable and collapses. All right, well, I'll be back once I get this Gate to cast. All right, here we are, back on our hometown hill. And here we go. It's been a while, boys. Crystalline, hi Moon. Nice to see you. Now I had a weird problem when I logged on this time. My mouse sensitivity going left to right when I hold it down to look is severely reduced. I'm having to move my mouse quite a bit to get it to look around. It's unfortunate. I'm hoping that next time I log on it's just back to normal. But if not, I'm going to have to try to figure out what went wrong and try to fix it. The mouse sensitivity when I just move the cursor around is just fine. It's just when I hold down that right click and turn it's like super reduced so I don't know I have the mouse sensitivity cranked to 100% in this in-game settings so I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do for that but anyway first things first we hit level 11 <clears throat> I don't think any of our melee abilities like dodge or anything is available for training yet but I'm just gonna take a quick look at the list just in case Although I'm not sure it tells you if something just came became available. I'm not sure it will tell you that. Um, level 50. Oh yeah, it does tell you the levels that they become available at. It did not do so with Meditate. Let's put a skill on point into Dwarvish, Gnomish, Knoll. I like to just have one skill point in each language. Just to give it the chance of taking off in case I should hear it. <coughs> All right, now let's find our summon food spell. Summon food, there it is, and it's a cheap one. Okay, now let's see if we can't find those split paw gloves again. They weren't here, I guess. Um, let's check all the merchants here. You got any gear? Nope. Who knows who might have some gear someone sold them. Oh yeah, that's not a merchant. Nope. Bind Affinity. What level do I get that at? 14. So that's definitely a must. It looks like our level 14 spells around 6 and 7 plat. Expulse Undead. That's going to be critical. Level 14. Critical. So we're not going to unrest until level 14 at least. When we can bring that with us. Okay. Well... I'm worried that it was here with this this guy or this chick, but um, let's go check over at the armor shop. I think it was actually over there. I want to say it was Merchant Iron Tree that had it. Oof. Well, if he did, he does not anymore. It seems like. And look at the prices for this plate gear. It's, re it's so expensive. Oof. <coughs> Strict solo self found would be a little ridiculous. I I think that the opportunity to buy those gloves is gone. I'm not seeing them anywhere, unfortunately. It must have been sold by a player to the merchant. And it has since, their stock has since been uh, re- refreshed to the basic stock or 
perhaps uh, someone else came and bought it. Let's see, is there someone who buys and sells in here? I don't think so. No, there is not. There's just the bankers. I'm trying to think if there's another place where a player might have gone to buy and sell that I might find something worth. Uh, this is a long shot and it's probably a waste of time. But there is a, a spell seller in southern... Oh, I forget which fell with I'm in. In the other fell with. <laughs> where a lot of different classes have to go to get some basic spells, like their shielding spells. I just want to go check out those merchants real quick. It'd be a real bummer. I was really hoping to get some split paw gloves at least. Although more importantly than those gloves, I'm really looking for that piece of split paw gear that will give me some magic resistance. I forget which slot it is. And unless I come across it, it won't matter anyway, so I don't, I'm not even bothering looking it up. Well, this zone feels like it might not be working out. Oh, I have yet to sell my stuff in my bags, too. Alright, I'm going to pause this video until I get through to the next zone. Alright. So we finally got in. It took me a while to get back in. Jeez. Louise. And this is the shop right here that I'm thinking of with... Merchant Tumblebrook here. Shrell Tumblebrook, he's a popular. Yeah, they got nothing for me. They got nothing for me. Gosh darn it. Well, let's see if Merchant Yusisan has anything. We got some small tattered and small patchwork gear, but no more split paw. Well, since we're here, let's get let down over here as well. Silver stamina plus two for two platinum. Silver Bloodstone Earring. Now I am planning on... Oh. Well, what is two stamina going to do for me? A little bit of HP. But it's so cheap. But I am planning on... Well, that, it's, it's going to be a while before I get those earrings that are going to uh, give me some charisma. You know what? I'm buying it. If, if only to make this trip not a total waste of time. <laughs> There we go. So we didn't find what we were looking for, but we found something. Let's see what it does for us. Let's see how much HP we gain after I clear my junk here. Alright, I guess that's all the junk I got on. Alright, so at the moment, we have an HP of 256. Now we're going to equip this new earring that we bought. 256 goes up 2, 257 it goes up 1, so I just got myself an increase of 1 HP, thank you very much, give me my money back, well maybe he will, let's see how much he is willing to pay, I'll sell it back when I replace it, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the 1 HP for now, I already paid for it, oh gosh, oh gosh, all right. Ah, you know what? I feel like I feel like doing the run to Kaladin, turning in the belts, and visiting the chessboard. That's what I feel like doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do first, though. First, I want to mem my new summon food spell. And give myself some food so I don't have to keep seeing the message that I'm out of food. Oh, and also I should visit the bank. I wonder if I should pick up all the belts right now. I just can't help but, but check just in case. <laughs> just in case I can find something. Oh, I'm so disappointed that I couldn't get those gloves, man. Those broke my heart. Broke my heart. I could also check the Paladin's Guild, which is probably like if you were coming to sell, it fell with from the zone entrance. Like, say, uh, well, who would do that though? Let's say a Necro was hunting the guards, right? 
and then he asked some noob to help him sell. Now most of the necros are chilling across this bridge here. And they might come running into here to buy and sell. So let's see what we find in here. Nothing here. Although it's good to know that backpacks are sold there. And nothing here. Not for us anyway. Okay, well, that was my last idea. Of course, there's always uh, stuff at Kelethin. How much do I want to go vendor surfing in Kel... You know... Pretty much not at all. Let's get some food. There we go. Now I'm on a short lunch break today. So I think all I'm going to do is turn in these belts and see how much experience we get. And I think that might just be this video. Level 11 part one. I got a bit of a run ahead of me though. Oh, I forgot to exchange coin, but I'll be going to the bank in Dwarf, Dwarfville anyway. All right, you guys, I'll see you in Dwarfville, Kaladim. All right, I am on the way to the Dwarf City, but as I, I stopped by this merchant here on the way, and I saw a small rawhide tunic for sale. It's going to give me 8 AC. What I'm wearing now gives me 4. What I might get from a small patchwork but might be 5 or 6. It's only one plat. It's going to be better than whatever I get from the bell turn-ins. I'm thinking I'm going to pick this up. There we go. Now let's see how it looks. All right, now we're looking styling all brown. We can sell this guy, get four gold back. That's most of the cost for that thing. Very nice, very nice. I almost like the hat now. <laughs> all right. I'll tune back in soon. All right, here we back at here we are back at Red Fist Metals. And I plan on picking up another couple of medicine bags. Gotta get through the door here, little dwarf, dwarf door, dwarf door. Hey, hind deck, how's it going, man? You got some medicine bags for me? Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we got four medicine bags. The other bags, we're gonna retire to the bank, which is our next stop the bank. We're going to pick up all the belts we can muster, fill the medicine bags first, and then if we need to grab an extra backpack or two to take with us that we'll bring back later. Cross your fingers on the zone. I'll talk to you guys soon. Eh, what the heck, let's just keep filming. It's going to be a short video anyway. Here we are at the bank. The dwarf bank. Oh, I forgot about this guy. He might have something worth buying. Let's take a look. Nope. No, well, small tattered wristbands would be a slightly slight upgrade, and they're only one gold. Let's keep it in mind, and let's see what we need once we actually finish. Ooh, that would be nice. Too bad I don't have 884 platinum. <laughs> oh, gosh. What else you got? Looks like he maybe does get some stuff sold to him. Glowing back sword. Well, that's not for me anyway. All right. Well, we'll be back, my good, my good sir. Okay. Let's see if we can't fit all the belts into our medicine bags. Therefore, not having to come back to the bank. At least not to put bags back. We might have to come back to drop some cash. There's medicine bag one. Medicine bag number two. Oi. You know what? I'm just going to do that, and I'll come back and switch the other bags out. So let's see what we got. One, two, three. 
we don't even have that many belts, to be honest. Let's see what we can get for him. Those backpacks and belts made us encumbered again. Well, I have a solution for that, and it's called Reckless Strength. The cheaper solution is Yelp. And actually, Yelp would work. Let's just go with Yelp. It doesn't last as long, but it lasts long enough, and it's so cheap on mana. See, and usually when you're encumbered, the thing about Yelp is when you're encumbered, you can cast it while you're running. I'll show you once we get back into South Kaladin here. So I happen to know we need Canoe or Kanslow or something, and I happen to know where he is in the Warrior's Guild here, which is where we're going to go turn in our belts. You can, I'm coming from an awkward direction. But this is a pretty central location here. So yeah, it gets interrupted sometimes, but eventually you can spam it and pull off a cast of Yalp when you're running and you're encumbered. And if not, you can stop for a moment. Again, just looking to see if there's any special, especially split paw, that we can buy. So we come in here, we go down here. This guy sometimes has got some stuff. This is where everybody who does the turn-ins for the belts sells. And we go down to the end of this hall. Camlo, Nussback. All right. I'm not sure if we can turn in one at a time. We're at one percent. We got one percent for that turn in. Now let me see if I turn in four. Do I get four percent? Apparently I do. All right, we got a shoulder piece upgrade. So we're definitely not so excited about belts anymore. They're they're not doing it anymore. But if you did want to take better advantage of the belts, I recommend slaughtering more orcs. You can kill a lot of greens. I just wasn't feeling that as a not game plan. So we got 34% off of all the belts we've collected up to now. 34% XP. Now we got a bunch of gold from that, and we're about to get a bunch more. Actually, before I do merchandising, let's see what upgrades I've gotten here. Now the helmet is small tattered, which we're already wearing. Arms, small patchwork, small patchwork, small patchwork tunic. We got a better tunic than that. Now here we go. This is a nice upgrade, the wristbands. What else we got here? Boots are already covered. We only need wristband and face, and I don't think we got either of those. No, we did not. It's time to sell. gold per piece. One and a half gold per piece, let's say. Wow, I'm getting more for this small cloth shawl than I am for getting most of the patchwork armor. I wonder if it's because cloth can be worn by more classes. So that's what gives it its value, I guess. Anyway, we're making good money. We've spent a lot of money. We've got two medicine bags. I bought that two platinum earring, which was a total waste. <laughs> and I'll sell it as soon as I replace it and or need the money. But even so, 
we're still coming out with quite a bit of money, and we have to level 14 to make more for our spells. Although it looks like we're able to afford two or three of our spells. But that's okay. We don't really need all of our spells. You know? Alright, we did alright. We got up to 35%. Off of belts. Which is my book is not too bad, I guess. I was honestly expecting a lot more. But I had far less belts than I thought I would have. And I thought it would give like 1.52% experience each. But I guess we're too high to expect that much from belts at this point. I'm wondering if the shoulder pads do better. Because when I see people talking about how much you can sell things for, the shoulder pads tend to sell for, mo for more. And I don't know why exactly. Maybe they do give more XP. So when we hunt legionnaires, we might be turning in legionnaire shoulder pads for more of a noteworthy boost there. Anyway, we got a bunch of bags for the bank. Bags for our character. Make sure I'm not putting anything I need to keep my hands on in the bank. Let's consolidate our cash here. We got ourselves up to 19 flat, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I might as well bank it. Let us carry some more before we get encumbered. <sighs> if I bank all my cash, I, that's not a good idea though. Let's keep, let's say five plat. Let's keep five flat on our person. If I bank pretty much all my class, I'd get down to 31 weight, which is pretty nice. And a lot of that's because of these medicine bags. Four, I've got four full-size bags, and they're only giving me a couple of pounds of weight. That's pretty good. All right, guys. We are set for now. That's going to do it for today, I think. Just a short maintenance video. We did get a third of our level. We checked. We showed some merchants. Those merchants that I checked, those are pretty hotspot merchants. I might have missed some hotspot merchants. Maybe some people know of some better ones. But those ones are ones where, to my knowledge, you might be more likely to actually find something worth buying doing solo self-found. We did get ourselves some new armor. You can see our wrists looking quite nice. Um, if you are a fashion quester and you only have one wrist upgrade, just try switching it from wrist to wrist until you see it visible. Because one wrist will actually show on both wrists, but I forget if it's the right or the left. I happen to accidentally put it in the correct slot to display it. We got the new chest peach, which is nice. I do like the armor in this game. While we're here, and there's this guy right here, why don't we see what he's doing? Is he selling anything? No. Oh, he's a rogue guild. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you at the chessboard. It's going to be fun. It's one of my favorite leveling spots at, th at these early levels. Catch you next time.